Um, hey brothers and sisters in Christ, right? Uh, how y'all doing? Um, I'm coming back to you guys because God gave me the scripture. And he was talking to me about, you know how when we say, the Lord saying we all get together and praise and worship and come together to fight against the enemy and we will set his people free from bondage, even from the lockdown. Because I got to keep remembering y'all, because I was sitting there and God was saying, I want to also remind y'all to know that Remember God always stressing, we're not fighting against flesh and blood. We're fighting against prince and principalities, wickedness in high places. So, you know, remember what God already told us, this is not physical, y'all. I mean, um, it's physical and spiritual. But you got to understand, remember God told us, um, kept telling us in a few videos, um, Satan was cast down from hell, I mean, from heaven to hell. Well, you know, Lucifer was... Um, in heaven and he was an angel and uh, you know God cast him down and a third of the heaven went with him remember God told us these are fighting he said these are fallen angels remember he told us these these are fallen angels and Satan so you got to understand these people that's over these nations these are fallen angels they wicked you got to understand that they're against God people and been people are lost and people that's fallen in following these things of the world with these fallen angels so you got to understand we're in a, a spiritual warfare I got to bring that back to remembrance to y'all because God was telling me, he said, he said, also to bring it back to remembrance. He showed me something. He was like, remember this. I always tell them with some spiritual warfare, these are not people. Y'all got to understand, it's a spirit inside the people. Just like God gave us his Holy Spirit, his, people reside, his spirit reside in us, Satan got his people. So God got his people, Satan got his people. So we already know these evil lawmakers, everything that God, every, all these people who... We, I, I'm, I'm say people, but we know they demons. God told us these are fallen angels that's working with Satan to help all that's going on. So you gotta understand it. These, that's why I tell y'all, it's the devil, Satan, over these nations that got these people locked down. Because they all these lawmakers and all this stuff right here. I told you, God got His people, which are those fallen angels. God showed us. I mean, God got His people, and then you know Satan got the fallen angels. You already know that. Y'all got to excuse me a little bit, um, but we ain't going to get into that because I'm trying to do look at something else too. Um, so, then the Lord said, this is, let me give you a story out the Bible to let you guys know how we work together as unity. And even if two or more agree, and he tells all the scene and how things happen and it set people free. So, he took me to Acts. And he gave me Acts 16, 25, to whenever he let us stop, right? So he said, but at midnight, Paul and Silas was praying and singing hymns to God, and the prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly there were a, was a great earthquake, so that the foundation of the prisons were shaken. And immediately, all the doors was open, and every, everyone's chains were loosened. And the keeper of the prison awake from sleep and seeing the prison doors open supposing the prisoners had fled drew his sword and was about to kill himself look about to kill himself but paul called with a loud voice saying do yourself no harm for we are all here then he called for a light for a light ran in and fell down trembling before paul and silas and he brought them out he brought them out and said sir Sirs, what must I do to be saved? So they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will be saved, you and your household. Then they spoke the word <laughs> the word of the Lord to him and to all of who were in his house. And he took them the same hour of the night and washed their stripes. And immediately he and all his family was baptized. Now when he had brought them into his house, and he set food before them, and he rejoiced, having believed in God was with this God with all his household. Look at this, y'all. And see what God told us this. Excuse my God. <coughs> Bless me, Lord. So y'all gotta understand this. This is why I said sometimes, you know, people are lost. And then um God using this example. How even how some people, look at this, that was held captive, Silas and Paul. Over there, and they were praying, singing in hymns, praying and singing in hymns of God. I mean, to God, until the prisoners that were listening to him. 
See how they was together singing and all that and praying to the Lord? And then the Lord sent a great earthquake. That's why I tell y'all, see how God working around the land? God's shaking things. Sent a great earthquake, so the foundation of the prisons were shaken. And immediately all the doors was open, everyone's chains were loose. And the keeper of the prison, awake from sleep, seeing the prison doors were open, supposed to be prisoners, had fled. Dude, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself, even though he was an enemy. See how God still make your enemies your footstool? Look at this. I, I, I ain't going to say your enemies your footstool. How can I say that? He said for us not to uh, harm our enemies, right? But see how the thing is? The enemy turned around and they stopped him from killing himself. I don't know where the footstool came at, but let's go try to tell us something else. Okay, so you see, um, the doors were open, every chain was loose, and the keeper of the prison, awake from sleep, and seeing the prison doors open, supposed the prisoners have fled, he, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself. He was about to kill himself because he thought the people fled away. Lord Jesus. Come on, y'all, that's why I can't. He keeps saying his peace surpasses all understanding. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. And lean not to your own understanding. Trust in the Lord. Finish her up. Finish her up. One more. The finish her up. Let's see what the Lord is saying, y'all. The finisher of our faith. He's a finisher of our faith. The founder and finisher. Hold on, y'all. telling me something y'all gotta excuse me because I'm a little distracted a little bit because I'm waiting on somebody to come and I'm trying to keep an eye out on the form finisher of our faith okay let's see I know the Lord said we have to have faith in him. Look unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, depositing the shame, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Despising the shame. You know what? Thank you, Lord. Remember when I said the enemy your footstool and I and I said it and I was like y'all try to explain to y'all then the Lord was saying look unto Jesus the author and finisher of our faith for who I mean faith who for the joy that was set before him endures the cross despising the shame and has sat down in the right hand of the throne of God so even when I had corrected myself, y'all, I was like, so God is just building up also my, 
confidence and don't be ashamed of what I see. Okay, then. That's why he said his peace. When I said something about trying to throw it in there, I got to sorry about that, Lord. Okay, Dad, that's, yes, Lord. He said, when I say make your enemies your footstool, and I correct myself, and he like, the shame. Don't, yeah, the finisher of my faith. Okay, y'all. His peace surpasses all understanding. So, y'all, okay, Dad. Okay, so now let's go back to this. So, thank you, Father. So, remember, uh, so Paul and Silas was uh, locked up in prison. Just remember God was telling us, to compare this to what we said, the Lord was telling us, listen to my videos, you know. He said, um, they was locked up in prison. And midnight, Paul and Silas were, and this by the Lord stressing to me, y'all, about to remind y'all, we're not fighting against people, flesh and blood, blood. We fight against prince and principalities and wickedness in high places. Cause also these people was captured by this man, this man, whoever captured them, that was wicked and poly, was probably demon possessed and evil. And that's that was going he was gonna kill his own. That's what the Lord was telling us about. Remember these? It's a, he said this has been a spiritual warfare from the beginning. It's not about us. It's about the Lord Jesus Christ. So everybody in the word, either they was lost in that when Jesus was searching for them and they were found. Then he had those that was just evil and wicked. So this must have been one of the evil and wicked men. There really are these people that fallen, the fallen angels, which they came down. That's why God say, ain't nothing new up under the sun to him. Even though they had kings and stuff back then, there were demons and stuff inside these people because it started way back before, way back before they even was, was came. Because it started in heaven when he throw loose, when the most high throw Lucifer down to earth. And a third of the heavens went with him. And that explained why Satan was walking among the earth. And he was casting out demons. So y'all got to understand these people are demon possessed. And they got the fallen angels. Thank you, Lord. This is why God brought this to us earlier, y'all. And this man right here, this is a whole. This is what the Lord told us about what's going on. Even compared to what the lockdown. And he said freedom. Thank you, Lord. So listen to this story, y'all. Because the thing is, remember the Lord said, even with the lockdown, Satan and his and his, his crew, which I, when I say the crew, I'm talking about the fallen angels, the demons. They wicked. I told you they inside these lawmakers, the presidents and all this. All the God gave us all this. He told he said these are not normal people. You gotta understand, God told us these were fallen angels, demons in these people. So demons was back then in the Bible. So these people that held the people captive, Paul and Saul, Silas, they were demon possessed. And God say some people we repent. Remember he gave us about talking about the um about some will repent because they have in order for the demon to come, you gotta allow him to come into your body to be used. And that's what people were doing evilness. We're gonna get to this. So, cause God gave me this, and it was talking about uh, but that's why he told me the stress about remember, remember, let the people know we're not fighting against flesh and blood. We fighting against prince and principalities, wickedness in high places. De remember he told us about the fallen angels. Came out the third thought that was cast down uh, and th uh, three parts of the heaven was cast down with him so let's get to this because God is still telling us this here because sometimes he said we get we, we so used to looking at people and you gotta understand there's demons inside these people okay y'all he just keep on waiting to remember us to this 
So we gotta understand, even with that Bill Gates and all these evil, that's what God said, evil doers. These are fallen angels. These people just, and some people just know God and they just go off and y'all already know that. And then some just lost and then just some ain't no help for them. Because what sin is within. And you gotta be careful what you allow in because like this, it was so many demons inside the men. They had to cast them out and it was said, we're legions of many. So they let you know there's so many of them. Okay, y'all. I'm just talking to myself too, y'all. When I be okay, now this was God gave me right here, y'all. It said, but at midnight, Paul and Silas was praying and singing hymns to God. Oh, God say praise and worship. It do things. He told us about the Jericho wall, but about the seven times when he told us to move something. But then he telling us an example why why worship and praying and uh, praise help the Lord. It helped things. Okay, y'all. But at, but at midnight, Paul and Silas was praying and singing hymns of God, and the prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly there were a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prisons were shaken, and immediately all the doors were open, and everyone everyone's chains were loose. And this was God. He said, help me, help you. So they praised and worshiped and praying. God sent an earthquake. So that's, they had to start it for God to send an earthquake to shake them. To shake, and immediately all the doors was open. Set them free. Set my captives free. That's why God said we need to praise and worship and pray and all this stuff, y'all. He's showing us how it worked. It even worked in the Bible. It worked now. It's, God never changed. He's the same today, tomorrow, and forevermore. Okay, so let's go. And the keeper of the prison, the keeper... Of the prison. You know he was an evil doer. Okay. And the God is showing us this. Look. Awaking from sleep and seeing the prison doors open. Supposing the prisoners had fled. Drew his sword and was about to kill himself. You know what? The Lord just told me. This man had to be demon possessed. Because then he was going to kill himself. Because he failed at his assignment. Because he said the devil not your friend. He'll eventually turn on you. So the man. That's why I wonder why the man want to kill himself. This man was demon possessed. By Satan. And his demons. And he was going to kill himself. Because he failed the assignment. That's why I tell y'all. Lord say Satan don't love them people. Them, them lawmakers and all them evil dudes. They don't care about us. They don't care about who they kill. To get power. But Paul called with a loud voice saying, do not do yourself no harm for we are all here. Deliverance. God say even love your enemies. They even stopped the man from killing himself and say don't do it for we all here. We here. Look, they had to have love for this man because not they would have let him kill themselves. But God know people, some people are weak and they deem up as God know what's going on. Look at this y'all. They said, then he called for a light, ran in, fell down, trembling before Paul and Silas. Because God said, you know what, demons, they bow down to, the, to God's people. Lord. And he said, and he brought, brought them out and said, sir. And he brought them out saying and said, sirs, what must I do to be saved? So they said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. You and your household. Why they need to be saved? Because they know they want, because he, he, he need deliverance. Him and his household, evildoers. Oh, and he was lost. Because in order for someone to be lost, you, and, and they get demon possessed, they lost first to get into sinful things and other stuff because they lost. They don't know the word of the Lord, some of them. So they got to get lost first to, order to get into witchcraft and all that stuff, and then they get demon possessed. Deliverance. I told you God work in many ways. And some people just pure evil. Don't know. God gave us the, the churches, the places. The people, I mean. Remember the name of the churches? And they say places. So God, just why God be telling us some people just lost. Some people, as God say these people fighting demons. They um need deliverance. They need healing. Demons be inside of people. See how that man with all them legions and, and said he wanted to, and, and the Lord cast them out. Look at God. Thank you, Lord. So 
So look at this. And he said, you'll be saved, you and your household. Then they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to all who were in his house. And he told them the same hour of the night and washed their stripes. Because God said, by your stripes we are healed. They washed. He healed them because they delivered. Lord. And immediately he and all his family were baptized. Now when he had brought them into his house, he set food before them, and he rejoiced, having believed in God with all God, having believed in God with all his household. That's why I say some. And that's why some people gonna be they just evil doers and these demons. That's why God, you be seeing that deliverance and demon possessed demons take over people's body. Them fallen angels, they demons getting into people. And God delivering people. That's why I say God know everybody heart. Lord Jesus. That's why God, he told me these are fallen angels. Demons inside of people. We got to keep remembering this. These ain't folks. It's a spirit residing in you. It's a spirit residing in them. The Holy Spirit residing in us. And people that lost and stuff and getting all demon possessed. You know, they did the deliverance. They did deliverance to this man. He said, how can I be saved? He was demon because God said even the, just use Jesus' name. The demon, even, look, so let me tell you how it is. I, I found out the the, the uh, demons could see how powerful you is and they get scared. I know. I had something like that happen to me before. Get, get scared. Lord. And I know people be demon possessed. I worked in this place before. And it was taking care of some elderly people. And this one lady was in a wheelchair and the people were saying, oh, she 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 need an exorcism. She need an exorcism. I'm doing the woman down. But at first, the woman ain't never messed with me. Then one day I went in there. No, I was staying. I was trying to stay prayed up. So when I got the woman, she was in a wheelchair. And she was saying, saying evil stuff to me. To my jump out the window, I said, the devil is a lie. Right? And so first, no, first when I got there, she said, just the wrong one. The wrong one. The wrong one. This the wrong one. This the wrong one. She kept saying I was the wrong one because they see what you in inside of you. She said I was the wrong one. She said, this the wrong one. Then she said, jump out the one. I said, the devil is a lie. And I got to talking to her and speaking the word of the Lord. So she got mad. So when I, I was just like, okay, I started shampoo her hair. And I said something. And I was just like, I said, you unfiled spirit using this woman body. Why she jumped out at me. And I said, I, I, I bind you in the, I, you know, I got the, the Lord, don't do this every time. Y'all, God just put that in my spirit at that time. He gave me authority to do that because he's showing you something. And so, next thing you know, the woman, she didn't want me to get through what I have. When I got through talking to the woman, why she was going in circles like this, in a wheelchair, going in circles, going in circles, going around and around. Demon possessed on this woman. They even gave the woman, came and gave her some medicine to calm her down. The woman still, she was still going in circles. They talking about, why the medicine ain't working? Because I then hyped her up. Say, no, you're trying to get up out of there. So the woman, people be demon possessed. Taking, uh, then the woman, later on, I went back. They said the woman passed away. I ain't do no deliverance on her, but I told the Lord, I said, Lord, you, is you, you bring her to me again. I packed it all up. I said, Lord, you put me, you, I ain't going to step out of placement, but if you, if you get me up in here and then you have me to, uh, the, the get out, get it up out of here, I am. But the Lord ain't never did, he didn't do that. They don't found out the woman passed away. And then they were saying, the family was saying all kinds of stuff for this woman. Y'all, though I say you, God is bring you through something. This one also I'm telling y'all as, uh. Starting your walk with the Lord. Take your time in your process, in your progress. I mean, your process, because God will show you stuff. That's why I say sometimes He He take us through things to learn things about ourselves and how powerful we are in the Lord. And that's why I say them demons. They know they bow down. They see how powerful you are in the Lord. He say you He great as He that's in me, the see of the world. And He said you abide in me, and I abide in you. Y'all. I be seeing why I'm on the spiritual track, but I don't care God with me every step of the way. But you, the ones, trust your process. That's why God told us to be careful of getting around people. And some of these churches and stuff, and they'll push you out there. You know, and always ask God for something, to do something. Don't go on doing it before that, because you never know. You ain't even, even strong enough. 
you'll get yourself caught into something. But this one, God, he brought me back to tell y'all, to remind us. He said, these ain't no people. These fallen angels, demons inside these folks. That's why God say the devil over his te over his arm, over these nations, over his people and stuff, holding people captive. And we over here fighting against each other. And they be trying to get along and go against this. Just like how Saul, and they, they, they tied down in prison. The Lord gave me, just gave me that. He gave me a good example. And he said, this is exactly, I'm going to give you an example of what I'm talking about. Y'all, and look how powerful it is. Know the Lord with you. They ain't do nothing but what? Pray and sing hymns. Worship and pray. And, it, and God sent an earthquake and shut the whole prison and loose and let them chains. It broke the chains and let them free. He said, freedom. Lord Jesus. You see, you had to correct me too on my thing. Tell me, no, no shame in my game because I, I, I got to get to the point of not explaining myself. Thank you, Lord. That's why he said his peace surpasses all understanding, y'all. Have peace in Christ Jesus, the Lord Most High, knowing he with us. What? And look at this. Let's go on here. Paul refused. And then it says something like here. And when it was the day and magnitude sent to the officer saying, let those men go. So the keeper of the prison reported these words to Paul. See, the, the keeper, he went into... He told me to let him go. The magistrates have sent to let you go. Now, therefore, depart and go in peace. What's this? But Paul said to them, they have beaten us openly, uncondemned Romans, and have thrown us into prison. And now do they put us out secretly? No, indeed. Let them come themselves to get us out. Somebody always want them to do the dirty work. They're going to tell somebody else to go let them out and free. He said, no. They ain't going to put us out of secretly. What? This is why God said, they let your enemies your footstool. So he did say that. Because they wanted to let them out secretly. And Paul said, no, they come and let us out openly. And go and, no, therefore depart and go in peace. But Paul said to them, they have beaten us. Look, beating us openly, uncondemned, uncondemned the, Rosen, uh, the Romans, and have thrown us into prison. And now do they put us out and secretly? No, indeed, let them come themselves to get us out. Okay, put the shame. That's what Lord says, shame. Shame on them. And the officers told these words to the magistrates. And they were afraid when they heard that they were Romans. Then they came and plead, plead with them. Look, that's why God said, make your enemy a footstool and shame. And then they come and beg and plead to them. That's why God said, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. He just said that. Lord. And the officers that also told their words to the magistrates magistrates and they were afraid when they heard that they were Romans then they came and plead with them and brought them out and asked them to depart from the city so they went out of the prison and entered the house of Lydia and when they had seen the brethren they encouraged them and departed see The Lord will make your enemy your footstool. Come back and apologize. Then they try to send somebody else. And God said, no, you, you tell them to come and, and, and release me. No, God, I mean, um, God, these, uh, Paul and them, had, the Lord had Paul and them to tell, tell they send the man to tell them. Um, and Paul said, no, you tell them, to, they ain't finna do us in secretly. What well, God said something about your sins and openly. And then they came and they did it and was ashamed. They were afraid and they heard that they would plead and plead with them and brought them out. That's why God said you got to be careful when you put your hands on his people. And he told me, they said, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. But when they also had to correct me, even with the footstool, he make your enemies your footstool. 
Look how the Lord worked, y'all. So this also let us know the victory is ours, like he's been telling us. And nothing can come against us. Look at this, y'all. God is good. I was wondering what the Lord was saying about the fallen angels, too. But this right here, deliverance and set the man free. That's why God said, forgive them for what they do not know. And love your enemies. Because some of these people just lost and lost. And some of them be demon possessed. And they get set free. Told y'all God working. Hey, that's why we just got to stay humble. That's why God said, lean not into our own understanding. Because we don't know how he work. What he got going on. We just do the best and walk righteous with the Lord and do what he tell us to do. And then when he brought that back to me. And then at my job. I mean, that it used to work at. Ain't that something? Y'all, my phone about to dial. Y'all be blessed in Jesus' name. Y'all be blessed. Let's, let's get it together, y'all. And listen to what the Lord is saying. Y'all be blessed in Jesus' name.